<laughs> you know, sometimes I sit here and I push the record button and it takes so long. <laughs> it's so weird sometimes. My my computer is under a lot of pressure, okay? Let's just say that. But anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Walking Dead, man. We're here in Season 3. We're going to be doing 12 and 13 episodes today. So, what's going on, man? Are we finally going to get to see a showdown as Andrea finally chosen a side? As she chosen a side, I don't think she really wants to go up against her friend, but her deciding not to kill the governor is to me a clear sign that, that she's probably chosen a side. Um, you know, um, she could have killed the governor. Nobody would have cared because they were, they were all <laughs> in Woodbury. They were all looking to her anyways. Dude is a creep. Let's just say that. Um, she went back. I guess she wanted to kill him, but couldn't do it. I don't know. I mean, you, you know, we all got to do what we got to do when it comes on to survival. So, you know, we can sit here and make it seem like um, there's a morality thing going on. Now we got the the, the dude, the black um, guy and the gal and two white guys. I don't know if they're, I don't know. The four people that survived and was at the prison out there with, at Woodbury, you know, and they're, they're like, oh, we know where they at. Let's go get them. We'll do anything for some shelter and some food. You know what I'm saying? So they were ready to go, you know, and join up with the governor. So I don't know what Andrea is going to do in this situation, to be honest. I'm glad I'm rooting for Merle. Because as I said before, like, I'm not one to hate people just because of hate's sake. You got to be doing something for me to really, really say, you know what I'm saying? I don't like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't hate you as a person, but I hate what you represent, what you do, your actions. Like, I hate that. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to Merle, it's not that I don't want him to change. And it looked like a switch went off off with him, you know, with Daryl. And I think when he's with Daryl, a whole different side of him comes out, which is, you know what I'm saying? He loves his brother, and that's very obvious that he loves his brother. So it's, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them. You know, now that Rick and, I think, who is it? Rick. Did he bring Carl with him? I think he brought Carl with him and Michonne. They're going somewhere. So they left, basically left Daryl in charge um, at the prison. So we're going to see what is going to be the aftermath of everything that is planned and how they're going to take down the governor or whatever or what's going to happen in Woodbury. I want to see what's going on. So let's jump into it, man. And let's see what happened. What do they got planned for us? I'm enjoying this season so far. As I said before, um, this is the longest season that we've done, right? I think. So, I think there's like three more episodes after today's reaction. There's going to be like three left. I think there's 16 episodes in this um, in this season. Yes, yeah, 16 episodes in this season. So, I'm going to jump into it, man. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section, okay? So if you watch the intro but you don't see the, the end, make sure you leave that like, man. And also, man, thank you guys so much. As always, let's jump into this, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so here we are. Episodes 12 and 13 of The Walking Dead Season 3. Just wrap that up, man. As you guys can hear, my voice is not okay right now. I'm trying to be as... Um, I'm listening to my own voices like I'm about to lose my voice. Because I've been talking nonstop for the past like two weeks straight. Like only time I stop talking is when I'm asleep. Or when I'm sitting down here editing videos. So my voice is really under some serious strain for the past couple of weeks. 
um, do from, you know, just working, doing what I'm doing, mentoring people and stuff like that. So I'm um, trying to get people prepared, trying to get the business prepared for the, for this sales season that coming up um, at the end, you know, beginning of winter stuff. So we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. But anyways, let's talk about this. These two episodes was good. Reason being, well, well paced. I loved episode 12, bringing back Morgan, um, seeing him again. I think they're going to find a way to work him back into the story later. Um, but it was good to see him, his son. He lost his son too. It was very tragic, the story that he was telling about his, you know, him not being able to kill his, his wife that turned. And then it's the same wife that came back and took the son crazy and he actually ended up killing the wife finally finally got the balls because we all remember from season one he couldn't he couldn't do it so uh, you know i i it, it's a tough situation man and as i said before they have to bring this guy back right now i think out of everybody on the show i would say Everybody that we've seen on the show so far, I think he's one of the more captivating actors on screen um, whenever he's on screen. And it's not because you're not, you know, you haven't seen him in a long time. Like, I remember him from season one because those episodes that, he's, that he was in was, he was so, he jumps off the screen. You know what I mean? So definitely definitely can i want them to work him back into the script somehow because i thought this was his reintroduction but it ends up being no they were just teasing the hell out of me so anyways but story continues that's basically the entirety of of episode 12 them you know finding out about more because they went to go get ammo and also the um situation with carl and michonne you know, going back for that picture, which I, you know, as I said before, I think it was really irresponsible. It was an unnecessary risk that they took to go get this picture. But Michonne understood, you know, where Carl was coming from, as do I, you know, understand where he's coming from. But I still think it was an unnecessary risk, you know. So, um, so yeah. When it comes on to episode 13, was more of just about the meeting between Brick and the governor trying to hash things out, see what they could come up with. But I don't know. I, I think that they should use Michonne as a way to maybe kill the governor somehow. Because I don't think Rick is going to sacrifice her like I, I just don't think he's gonna come to that outright conclusion i think that would be outright wrong for him to do and i would lose a, lose a lot of respect for him if he does this because um as i said man character development is a thing that i watch very closely when i watch tv shows and you guys know that he's my guy you guys know that rick is my guy um you know, I've always been with all the decisions that he has made. Um, I have agreed with probably 90 percent of them. So. You know, so I definitely am looking forward to what he's going to do in the future with the, within this situation. I think they should just go all out war because. You know, I think a lot of those people that are being trained in Woodbury, I think a lot of them is going to run away from the situation. I I really do believe so. I think once the bullets start flying, some of these people are going to run away because you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, you know, Rick people, our family that we know, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of them are battle hardened. They've been through the thick. They all know how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? It's a small unit, but they tight. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely looking forward to see what the decision is going to be. Okay. With, within Rip, because if he does choose to really give up Michonne like that, like I'm going to, because giving up Michonne, if you know, you literally just said that 
if you give up Michonne, you're gonna kill him, you're gonna kill them all, which is exactly what the governor is planning to do, right? It's wrong. It's it, it's wrong for you to choose to give up Michonne. You know the intention of the governor. You know he's not gonna let you live. He's just saying that because you know what I'm saying, like you know, he just wants revenge or he's using that to get in your head, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, shouldn't even be considering this because we know what's going to happen. Uh, Milton, I don't know. It seems like he's kind of like, you know, kind of wishy-washy on, on what side he wants to take at this point. Because I think his interaction will, with Herschel is kind of getting him a little bit of uh, insight into what the um, Rick's group is about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, have you seen the, the, the interaction between Daryl and the other guy? I mean, these are people, they're all trying to survive. And, you know, Rick genuinely wanted to work something out, but the governor just didn't want to have none of that. He just wants blood. He's a freaking psychopath or sociopath or narcissistic. I don't know what, what else to call him. He's one of those things or all of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I'm definitely looking forward to see what they're going to do with this because um, the, the regular people, you know, the you know, um, Rick is a good leader. The governor, he's just he has, he's just he's a control freak. He's a control freak, and it's hard to to negotiate with people who just wants control because they don't want to give up any of it. You know, so. I'll talk to you guys later, man. That's all I have to say about this. I just want to watch. I, I wish I had time to do more, but I have to do so many more reactions today. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. As always, if you're here for this review, you already know gratitude is never enough, man. Thank you guys so much for checking out my videos, checking out these reactions, man. I wouldn't do it if you guys weren't watching. Okay, so thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys for the next one. Remember to like, leave a comment in the comment section. And also, subscribe if you're new. Terabyte Reacts, out. <gasps>